Chinese scientists claim that they've carried out the first successful head transplant on a monkey. Previously, the only other successful transplant of its kind was performed on a mouse. Images uh, show that animal, the mouse, beginning to move after surgeons cut and rebuilt its spinal cord. Following the operation though, on the monkey, the first human head transplant is being scheduled for the end of next year. It's going to be a revolutionary operation, of course, requiring both the head and the body to be cooled to under uh, minus 15 degrees Celsius. Then the blood vessels and the spinal cord are cut and clamped. And after that, the head's basically glued onto the uh, body, the uh, donor body with special bio glue. Uh, coma is induced for almost a month before the patient begins a year-long rehabilitation process. Italian surgeon Sergio Canavero says he's willing to carry out the controversial procedure, but he's facing a backlash for his decision. How can you imagine such an operation? I personally think that Canavero is a criminal. There is no scientific background for this. As far as I can tell, that operation has mostly been about publicity rather than the production of good science. I would not wish this on anyone. I would not allow anyone to do it to me, as there are a lot of things worse than death. Dr. Canavero, for his part, says he wants to be the first to carry out the groundbreaking procedure on a human. China wants to do it, to do it because they want to win the Nobel Prize. Mm. They want to prove themselves to be a scientific powerhouse. So it's the new space race. The surgeon's first potential patient, who we saw him speaking to there, is a guy called Valery Spiridonov. He's from Russia. He's a 31-year-old programmer with a genetic muscle-wasting disease. He says he needs a new body to survive. Uh, that operation, if it happens, is expected to take 72 hours and require 150 surgeons and nurses with an estimated cost attached to it of $16 million. Despite all these risks, this huge operation, Valery says he is willing to go through it all despite the risks. This technology is as big a deal as the first man to walk in space. This is because in the future it will help thousands of people who are in even more deplorable state than I am. Well, back to Dr. Canavera again. He says he's optimistic about being able to save Valeri's life with this pioneering surgery. We proved that one, uh, the, the real obstacle to the first uh, human head transplant, that is the reconnection of a cervical spinal cord, uh, was uh, not a, an obstacle at all. Uh, and that means that for many with a spinal cord injury condition, uh, uh, there will be a spin-off from this technology in order to cure them. The brain will survive. It has already survived uh, in, in clinical situations, but we need the money. So today, I'm just... Uh, making an appeal to billionaires around the world.